In today's video, I'll be showing you how to resolve connection issues in Call of Duty Vanguard. So I will be showing you a few different methods in this video which will hopefully resolve the issues you're having with Vanguard. Perhaps you're not being able to connect to the game or maybe when you launch the game you're just getting some sort of connection interrupted error or maybe it just will not connect to the Vanguard servers. So there are a few different reasons why you might be having these issues. It could be the Fangard files have become corrupted or missing when you installed the game or downloaded the latest update. Or perhaps your security is blocking the game. Or it might even be an issue with your internet connection. But whatever the problem is, by following each step in this video, you will hopefully be back in the game in no time. But before we jump into the methods, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, and you do like this video and want to see more videos on Vanguard on how to resolve issues and stuff like that, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Every subscribe really does help our channel grow. And plus, it would be awesome if we could hit 50,000 subscribers before Christmas. So the first thing you need to do is just ensure there isn't any problems with the Call of Duty Vanguard servers. So to check this, all you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to select Call of Duty Vanguard from the right hand side here. And as you can see at the moment, all platforms are online, which means there are currently no known issues with the Vanguard online services. So if you're unable to get into the game at the moment, which you are because you wouldn't be watching this video, then you know it's not an issue with the Vanguard services. So we can now close this down the next thing you need to do, if you're using a cable to connect your computer to the router and it's got a slight bit of damage, then that could be causing the connection interruption issues. So just check the cable. If it's damaged, replace the cable. If you're using wireless and you're able to, use a cable because it will give you a lot better performance and it's also more stable than a wireless connection. But if you are using wireless and that's your only option, just make sure nothing's interfering with the wireless connection because that will also cause connection problems when trying to play Vanguard. So once you've done all that, the next thing you need to do is go to the site of your internet provider and just make sure there's not currently an issue in the local area with the internet. Another way of checking your internet is to simply open up Google I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And once your web browser's open and you're on Google, you now need to type in speed test and press enter. You will now see Google speed test. You need to click on run speed test and it will now test your download and upload speeds. If you are not getting a download speed or an upload speed, or it isn't quite the right speed what you normally get, then that could be your connection issues there. So contact your internet provider and see if there are any current issues with your internet connection. So as you can see, mine is perfect. That's what I normally get. So once you've done all that, you can now close down your web browser. And the next thing to do is update Windows. So all the steps in this video, I will be doing it in Windows 10. However, it's similar steps in Windows 11. So all we need to do is right click on the start menu icon and click on to settings. You now need to select update and security. And you now need to scroll down and click on check for updates. If Windows detects any new updates, it will then begin to download and install those updates. Once they have finished, go ahead and restart your computer and then you can launch Vanguard and see if that resolved the issues you were having. If that didn't resolve the connection issues, then the next thing we want to do is update our network driver. So to update your network driver, you will need to know what network adapter or card you are using on your computer. So if you close down the Windows Update and right click on your Start Menu icon again, but this time select Device Manager, you now need to find Network Adapters and expand this option. As you can see at the top, I'm using a Realtek PCIe GBE family controller. If you right click on your network adapter and click on to update driver and press search automatically for drivers, Windows will see if there's a newer driver. But as you can see, it's saying I'm using the best driver. 
So Windows will not always detect the latest driver. You will need to go to the manufacturer's website of your network adapter or card and download the latest driver. I will pop a link in the description below on how you can update your Realtek network driver. So once you've updated the driver, go ahead and launch Vanguard again and see if that resolved the connection issues you were experiencing. If that didn't resolve those issues, don't worry because we have still got a few more things that we can do which will hopefully resolve the problem. So the next thing you need to do is close down Device Manager and you now need to right click on Call of Duty Vanguard shortcut and click onto Properties. You now need to go across to Compatibility and you now need to run this program as an administrator. You then need to press Apply and OK. We now need to do the same for the Battle.net app. Right click on the app, go to Properties and click onto Compatibility and you now need to tick the run this program as an administrator again and press apply and OK. Now go ahead and launch Vanguard and that will hopefully resolve the connection issues you're having. If it still didn't, then the next thing we want to do is take a look at your firewall. So if you're using Windows Defender Firewall, then you can follow the next steps. If you have installed your own firewall and not using the Windows Defender, then you will need to go into your firewall and then add Call of Duty Vanguard as an exception and make sure it is being allowed connection to the internet. So to check Windows Defender, all we need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in Defender. You now need to click on Windows Defender Firewall and you now need to click on to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. You now need to scroll down until you get to Call of Duty and you now need to ensure Call of Duty Vanguard has a tick under private. If yours does not have a tick or Call of Duty Vanguard is missing from the list, then you need to click on to change settings and you now need to tick under private for Vanguard or if the game's missing on your firewall, you need to click on to allow another app and you then need to click on to browse and you now need to browse for Fanguard. So once you have gone to the location of Fanguard, you then need to select the Fanguard.exe and press open. I'm not going to do it because it's already added to my firewall, but you then need to press open and it will then be in the list and you then need to select private and we can then press okay. So if Fanguard wasn't added to your firewall list, then that will be the reason why you were unable to connect to the Fanguard servers. So once you've done that, and if you're still having the connection issues, you now need to temporarily disable your security. So to do this, if you're using the Windows security, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and click on settings. You now need to go to update and security and you now need to click on Windows Security and we now need to click on Open Windows Security and then go to Virus and Threat Protection and go to Manage Settings under Virus and Threat Protection Settings. You now need to toggle Real-Time Protection to Off. So just keep in mind though, by turning off your security, you will not be protected from security threats. So only do this for a short period of time just to see if it's your security software that's causing you the problems when trying to play Vanguard. If it is your security, then you will need to add Vanguard to the exception list of your security. Once you have done all that, and if it wasn't your security that was causing the connection issues in Vanguard, you now need to open up the Battle.net app. And once you have the app open, you now need to click in the left hand side of the Battle.net app in the top corner and click on to log out. You need to log out of the Battle.net app and then sign back into the app, but ensure you are signed in into the account that you purchased Fanguard on. Once you have signed in, go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolved the issue. If that didn't fix the problem, the next thing you need to do is select Fanguard and you now need to click on the settings cog and we now need to click on to scan and repair. You then need to click on begin scan and this is going to check to see if any of the files have become corrupted or missing. If it does detect an issue, then it will attempt to repair those files. So that is how you resolve the connection issues on your computer for Call of Duty Vanguard. 
I hope the methods in this video did help you out and got you back into the game. If the methods didn't help, then you might need to reinstall the game. So if you like this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.